Anger is extremely natural. It is an energy. There is nothing wrong in it. We don't have to condemn it. We have to understand why we have anger. First of all, it is natural. It is nature given. Second thing, we have a lot of separation. And a lot of things have been we have suppressed. So just a small thing just will flare. So first of all, when it comes, don't condemn yourself. Don't feel guilty. It is there. You accept it. You can see it is there. You can't hide it. So people say you have to control your anger. Or for that matter, control, don't look at, you know, women who are not well dressed, so you will start making, making your mind to do things. It is there. It is an energy. It, it forms part of your being. So first of all, this has to be understood. You have to understand this clearly. Whether it is anger, whether it is greed, whether it is jealousy, whether it is sexual temptation, whether it is temptation for the matter for anything, it is there. First of all, you have to understand it. Now, to understand it, you have to become aware of it. So the first thing, you are in a class, you are a teacher, the children are boisterous, you know, because you were upset. Now you come and you just, a severe look around. The children, cool down. So the only thing, as you become more aware of your anger, where it is coming from, it will cool down, it will transform. This is, this is not, there is no possibility of controlling it. No amount of prayer, no amount of discipline, no amount of morality, nothing can. Otherwise, the world would be a better place to live in today. You see, people have still greed, a lot of lust, a lot of hatred, a lot of fanaticism, a lot of anger. It keeps on coming. All the violence everywhere. So anger, first of all, is your energy. It forms part of you. It is possible to transform it, not to control it. How to, con how to transform it, just accept it and become a little more alert about it. Of course, when you try it the first time, you will fail. Because you're not used to it. That's why I don't teach morality. I don't teach how to become good. I teach how to become more conscious. Teach the person consciousness and virtue springs of its own from the person. From down the ages, since the dawn of humanity, we have been teaching people how to control, how to morality. You can't. It's not possible. It has never happened. Just look around. So teach people to become more alert, more conscious, more aware. And automatically, they understand what's happening. Then you realize the stupidity of getting angry just for anything. Teach people more consciousness, more alertness, and they realize it's stupid to have jealousy. You know? So that is meditation, to become more and more conscious. Meditation means become more and more conscious until your unconsciousness <coughs> dissipates completely. Whatever anger, whatever vice, whatever evil have existed in the past, exists now, will continue to exist, comes out of your unconsciousness. Unconsciousness is the breeding ground for all forms of sin, and evil. Consciousness is the breeding ground for all forms of virtues, whether it is love, forgiveness, peace, sharing, and you name it. So just become a little more alert. Don't accept it as you are, because if you are here, whole existence accept you. I accept you because when you come to me, when a person comes to me, I know what they have done. What they are doing. It's not that I know literally the person. I understand human nature, it is there. So if you accept yourself totally, existence, you will feel more relaxed. Don't feel guilty, you, I'm a bad person, I have anger. I'm, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. Take it easy, just be a scientist. But of course, if you don't do something, if you don't become responsible toward yourself, it will spread in your whole body first. And then one day, you take it and you stab somebody. So just become more alert, more relaxed and more alert. That's it. Accept it first. Don't make it a problem. Make it... In fact, there's no problem. 